Alright. Now we are outside here, and during this part, we are just going to be sniping a bunch of guys. Um, it would be really annoying about this part is you can't crouch right next to these sandbags, and Benji is completely useless. Um, he won't run out, but when he does run out, he'll run out. Um, I was checking to see if right there if my weapons were glitching. I had had in the past it, um, my weapons glitch and not shoot and shoot at all. Like it would take away bullets and stuff, but it wouldn't fire out any shots. So anyway, what you want to pretty much try to do here is if playing on hard, just like rush or snipe or whatever. But on very hard, uh, I had to have Benji get lured out, so he would be. He would act like a moron and just run across the entire field and get all these guys. So that's what he did. And as you can probably hopefully see me do, I just kind of let Benji finish off a lot of the guys. So, yeah. Um quickly to clarify about my ODST that I said I was going to be putting out. Um, it would most likely be um, non-commentary, um, first playthrough, not a walkthrough. It would probably be like on normal difficulty with four uh, of my friends or maybe the viewers, whichever I decide, uh, whichever is easiest to get people for, probably of the day the game comes out. And I would probably be just pouring out a ton of the campaign videos. Um, of course, later on, I would probably be posting, or I will be posting a legendary difficulty guide for it, but that would just be kind of a, if you're interested in what the game's like, or you want to have a little walkthrough for a part you're stuck on, but it's because of game mechanics, not because of difficulty, um, but I'll be making other parts for that, of course, but just to clarify, that's what I meant by a playthrough, not a full-on walkthrough, just kind of a casual, non-serious. So anyway, you don't want to, those, that's the first time you encounter the Chinese Inferno unit, and those guys are friggin' tough. Um, just like the hunters in, proto in prototype. I like to use the word friggin'. Anyway, um, but no, they can give you a nice burning. Then they'll make you quite warm and fuzzy inside, and then you'll burst. So you want to stay away from them, Inferno guys. Um, there's a little health container up top, and then we're going to head inside here to the huge-ass bunker. Um, I ended up splitting this video into two parts just because it was long. Um... Of course, if you can get sneak attack crits, that is a must. Um, coming from this playthrough, from or uh, this um, voice recording from my last one, I played Point Lookout, downloaded it and played it, and I have to say that I'm I would not be surprised if I didn't come out with a god on it on very hard. Um, my character, when I went in there, was a level 15, and I had to tone down the difficulty to easy from normal um, on the character that I... My main character. I don't like playing on this guy just because of his bobbleheads and perks that I chose. Um, which, the one thing that I was mad about is there is a way now that you can get all of your... If you've broken steel, there is a way to get all of your special to 10. Um, but I picked up the strength bobblehead... So I can't do that now, and pretty much if you're wondering what that is, is um, you take, you don't grab any of the special bobbleheads, not the, no strength, no intelligence, all that stuff, and you wait until level 30 where you pick the perk almost perfect, which gives you, which brings up all of your special to 9, and then from there you just pick up all the bobbleheads, which will give you 10. Um, but I screwed that up, so I'm doing a new character, and yeah. So, anyway, um, just going to be picking up a bunch of stuff here.
just keep on going through the bunker. I used a lot of VAT sniping. There's a Chinese assault rifle if you, for whatever reason, missed it. Now, this is weird. Oh, wait, yeah, I got him. I'll sing it of another instance. Yep, but you want a lot of them sneak attack crits. Those will help you out a lot. Um, but yes, I will most likely, in order of the DLCs, I've decided I'm going to most likely be doing uh, the pit next before I go in... Uh, or either that or I might do uh, the Waters of Life quest from the main quest and then go back to more DLCs. Um, right now I'm just going in circles for no reason. Um, but I'm going to be doing the pit sometime before I go into uh, before I before I go into a Vault 87. Um, and then after I complete Broken Steel, which uh, as you probably know, extends the main quest. I will then afterwards be doing Point Lookout, and then whenever Mothership Zeta comes out, um, I will do that most likely afterwards. So, um, yeah, that's just something that I'm going to say to pass the time. Got some fruit cups with me, so I'm going to eat those. So right here, my stupid ass is still trying to figure out where to go. And big surprise, it was go to the right. Now, coming up to this part, if you run fast enough, you can actually... There are a bunch of soldiers that come. You can actually meet them at the stairs and catch them out of cover. And from there, it's extremely easy to get rid of them. Um, but as soon as you get into that room, you just have to haul last to the staircase. Um, which I didn't do. I just thought of something. If I'm crippling their head, how are they shooting straight? I don't know. If you ask me, though, crippling people's limbs in this game is completely useless. The only... Crippling the head does absolutely nothing. The torso, don't even get me started. The arms, I mean, shit, their accuracy is 100% already. You can't do anything to that. And uh, the only thing I find useful is crippling the legs, um, which is very helpful on death claws. Um, but crippling head, I don't even understand it. How can your head be crippled and you still being able to hold a weapon or shoot or Yeah. I got a nice headshot. Right here, if you're going to camp anywhere, it would be right next to the health container. Benji just thought it would be a great idea to stand in front of me as well. Because, you know, the best place to be is in front of a sniper's scope. That's always safe, you know. This guy was just, like, soaking him up. And a real annoying part of this bunker is there are some explosions, or I guess the artillery guns firing, that constantly go off, and so it's difficult to snipe. But luckily, I can still snipe, just barely though. So. Give him a nice headshot. Ooh. I always thought that was gory. And another thing that's kind of odd, because there's not a lot of strategy to talk about, just keep using your sniper rifle and keep vatting people, um, is if you get a headshot on someone, um, now, I do have the bloody mess perk, but this, this still applies even when I didn't have it. 
if you shoot somebody in like their head, other parts of their body I've found have come off. Like, shoot their head and all their limbs just fly off for no reason. But, yep, I've always found that to be extremely weird in this game.